Crackout is a breakout-style arcade game developed by Konami and released for the Nintendo Entertainment System, or NES, in 1991. The game features a paddle at the bottom of the screen that deflects a ball towards a wall of bricks, which must be destroyed to progress through the game's levels. Along with power-ups that enhance the paddle or ball, Crackout also includes enemies and obstacles that can impede the player's progress. The game features colorful graphics and fast-paced gameplay, making it a popular title among NES enthusiasts. And we get to play it now. So let me press enter real quick and then we can start. All right. I press start, right? Game start. <clears throat> Cubic zone, aerial one. Okay. I have played this before. Not this exact game, but some variety of it. It's kind of popular. And I'm pretty sure the ones that I have played isn't called Crackout. <laughs> um, you know when a game gets famous, uh, other people try to make their own version of it? That's probably what I played. But the concept is simple and engaging. You know, very simple idea, but very well executed at the same time. I like it. It's one of uh, those games that becomes uh, an instant classic, and it's memorable because of how simple it is. Straightforward, colorful, what more could you ask for? Those, uh, this eye is kind of disturbing, but also interesting. If you manage to hit it, you'll get some sort of um, reward. And it differs each time. So, this is straightforward. I, I look forward to this. Oops. Did I become smaller? I think this is a bonus round. A new area, rather. <coughs> Alright, what is this green alien-like stuff? Oh, more time. I have a timer. Okay, cute. And I became blue. What does this do? Okay. It's like playing volleyball with myself. <laughs> okay, what is this? I became pink. Cleared. Ooh. I like the colors. They weren't kidding when they said it's colorful. Oops. Okay, this one I need to make sure it hits a specific spot. Alright, this one is tough because it needs to hit a certain spot. To be able to get through. <clears throat> yes. Almost there. How am I able so how am I supposed to hit those um colorful finally? Alright. Can this dinosaur attack me? I'm not sure. Oops! It's like bulky. I need to hit it several times. For some reason it's not attacking me, it's pink now. I think the dinosaur doesn't 
dive? It's just there? Oh, it does dive. It's just very bulky. Now we just have to hit this last remaining brick. Come on. All right, easy peasy. <clears throat> what do we have here? Okay, I want to start here, so I'll have some room to move. I'm sure there's a lot of variations of this game, even up to this day, because of how successful and simple the formula is. What happened? Oh, game over. Can I continue? I can! Sweet, I get to keep my progress. I'll start here again. I didn't get to see what that rocket does. That was a close one. Is it just me, or does the ball fall at the same time as those, um... Oh, there's two balls! It's kind of nice, but at the same time... There's... Oh. I, I thought I'd lose if I missed the white one. I thought it was a high-risk, high-reward kind of thing. Wherein I have to uh, keep track of two balls. Not really. I assume these green ones would uh, kill me on contact. <coughs> Area 106. Oh, there's two of these uh, very bulky dinosaurs now. I'm so engaged. <laughs> Okay, so a little uh, physics knowledge would really get you through this game because as intuitive as it is to follow the ball, it could easily change course once it hits something. So you have to pay attention to it at all times and try to anticipate where it's gonna land. I want to go to this dinosaur. So I can clear this level. It's like billiards. <laughs> My comparisons. First volleyball, now billiards. But you get the point. Okay, this level is challenging because there are some low ones. I have to be careful where I send the ball. Else I won't have enough time to respond. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, I became wider. That's that is awesome. That is useful. But it was short lived as well. All right, we're, we're making progress. Afraid of that, whatever that is, that kind of vent looking thing. It, it's such a wild card, it could easily change the trajectory of the ball. Continue. This, this is area 108. It's tricky, I have to be careful. I have to be careful where I send the ball. Keeping up. Alright, this is good. I played a variety of this game, but not this exact game, so I do not know how many levels there are and with which level is the hardest. This is already tricky. And I'm sure it's gonna get harder along the way. Jesus, that was close. That was just wasteful. This is my favorite boost so far. Being wider, yes. It turns out I lose the other boosts if I get another if I get a new one. Not sure, but I think so. 
I'm not white anymore. Or am I? I'm not sure. Alright, it is confirmed. I do lose my previous boost if I get a new one. The ball is faster? <gasps> no! I was so close! I was so close. There was just one left. What does that clock thing do? Does it make the ball go faster? The strategy that I'm leaning towards now is to be efficient with movement, try not to waste your energy, wait until the last minute before... Hello, how am I supposed to do this? It... All the bricks are encased. I'm sorry, what? I'm not sure how I'm supposed to hit the bricks. Do I have- does the ball have to enter that hole where the crabs are coming out of? That's what the rocket does, it doesn't even, like, destroy the stones. It's just like a guided uh, forward missile. Alright, I believe that is enough uh, gameplay for now. And for more NES games, check out RetroUnit.com.au. See you in the next video. Goodbye! Thanks for watching!